Hi friends, Miss Hazel here. And Miss Kate. All right, last week we made um, so a farmyard chicken. And so now our chicken needs a friend. So we're gonna sew a little piggy today. Very much like the chicken, but I'm gonna show you the special bits that, so you can remember how to do it. Okay, so you're gonna start with your two pieces of pink. I've got a couple of funny little ears. I've got my nose with some little black dots and I've got my eyes. So I'm gonna sew my eyes on with black thread. I already sewed one on, but you're gonna go through the back and maybe I think you wanna get I think maybe three three stitches to hold your eyes, the, your little piggy friend's eyes down. One, three, and then some little, uh-oh. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to make um, the little pig has some eyelashes coming out to the side. So I'm going to do three stitches, kind of coming back into the same kind of center place. We're like twinkly eyelashes. Two and three. Okay. And then close up my stitches on the back and then trim that off. Oh, I hope I have some scissors over here. Oh, I do. I have my trusty sewing scissors. Okay. All right. Now I've got my eyes on. Now I already used my black thread before I did the eyes and I sewed my funny little pig nose and put that on there and I'm going to use I've got some um, pink thread and I'm going to sew my nose on sew that on Make some little stitches the idea you want to get these parts on before you sew your pig together because it's easier because once you put it together it's kind of hard to sew things so while you've just got one layer of felt, we're using felt and embroidery thread, it's easier. Okay, so there's my nose, my little pig's friend's nose. Okay, and my next step, now I've got my pig's nose, and then I'm going to use my black thread and I'm going to sew a little smile on, just a few little stitches. You can figure that out. Now on the back of my pig, I've made a circle and cut it so that it's a curly tail. It's not funny. Okay, now that so I sewed that on with a few stitches. And now I'm getting ready to put my piggy together. So I put the the tail down. Then I take my two ears and I'm going to put them kind of where I would want them next to my pig. I think it goes really well if you line them up just a little bit kind of from the eyes. A little bit out from the kind of by the eyes okay then you're gonna sew you're gonna start at the top and attach your ears so there and then sew all around your piggly wiggly till you get to the corner of the neck then you're gonna put your stuffing in and then you'll sew up that last little bit and you'll have your piggy friend to join your chicken farmyard friend so if you have any questions about actually sewing it all the way around, you can look at the other video about sewing a chicken farmyard friend. But for now, that's all you need to know to make a piggy farmyard friend. So um, I think that's it for today. Sounds Thank great. you for joining us on our um, Alameda Arts YouTube channel. If you like this, you could subscribe. That would make Miss Kate and I really happy to know so that happy. you are here watching us. And then also you could follow us on Instagram at Alameda Arts Fun. So thank you for joining today. Bye everyone. Bye friends. <laughs>